All right, uh, so everyone, so uh, today's chapter would be about uh, multi component distillation. There. Um, So, um, uh, so in the multi component distillation, uh, there is no uh, exam. Uh, it's only uh, group assignments, yeah. Because uh, we, we're gonna start to do the calculation manually using Excel, uh, and in multi component distillation, um, it is it is quite complex, yeah. It is more complex than binary distillation. We can't do it uh, using a graph. So we're gonna use uh, some equations, right? Okay. So um, let's have a look about uh, binary uh, distillation first. Yeah, just to recall about what happened in binary distillation. In binary distillation, okay. In binary distillation, we have uh, a vapor phase. Uh, we have a liquid phase, right? And then in the liquid phase, there is a, a component A, there's a component B, and the uh, mass fraction is called, uh, sorry, the mole fraction uh, of the liquid is called XA, uh, and uh, XB is the mole fraction of the B, which is uh, equal to 1 minus XA, right? In the uh, vapor phase, uh, we have mole reaction of A in the vapor, which is YA, and we have also YB, which is 1 minus YA, okay? And at this condition, it is also uh, the equilibrium or the condition is actually um, correlated and then dependent on the pressure and also the temperature, yeah? So uh, with that, uh, we have uh, four variables. Um, there are pressure, a temperature, uh, mole fraction of A in the vapor, uh, mole fraction of B in the liquid. Uh, so there are f uh, four variables. Okay, and uh, so we also understand that so if the P if we keep constant, if we it kept constant, uh, then we have the variable as the temperature. Uh, X and also Y, yeah, and then this can be, we can we can uh, uh, visualize that in T X Y diagram, okay. If it is uh, at T constant, which is uh, but it, well, while it's it's not common, yeah, uh, we use always uh, P constant. But anyway, but if we have a uh, constant temperature and then the the system is defined by uh, to be changing with temperature. Uh, then we can have uh, pressure as a variables, XA as a variables, and also YA as a variables. Then we have PXY diagram. Okay, so those three, th those these diagrams is actually a three dimension. So we can we can visualize it in uh, in a three dimension. Okay, uh, P, P or T, X, and Y. Like in the uh, remember with the a tongue diagram, yeah, diagram lidah, uh, as a few um, few weeks ago. Okay, so with that, um, we also ha uh, can understand uh, the correlation between X Y diagram as well, uh, using, uh, for example, to see the composition of the uh, the equilibrium between uh, Y A and X A. So. Uh, then we can ha we, we also can have x y diagram, so so that's why that what what you've done so far um, actually for the preparation for the next week's exam, the binary mixture also can be visualized, right? Okay, um, next. 
So what happened with the multi-component distillation? Three component or four components, five component. Um, what do you think? Do you think you can you can uh, sketch it on in a, in a diagram? Anyone? Let's have a look. Yeah, in let's say three diagrams. In three diagrams, we have the uh, sorry in the three components here we have a condition of pressure yeah and also temperature right uh, and also we have a composition of x a uh, a composition of b in the liquid xb and also composition of c where uh, then it is dependent on the xa and xb which is one minus xa and xb okay right and also look at the uh, vapor phase yeah, there is a YA, uh, YB, and also YC, which is dependent on YA and YB. So, um, if we have, uh, if we combine them together, then we're gonna have six variables. This is only for three components. If we deal with uh, many components, um, for example, from the crude oil, of course, they have lots of components. So then, the variable would be very uh, so many yeah so here um, uh, at the P constant then we have a T uh, but then also there are a uh, number of uh, parameters Y X A Y A X B and Y B right so uh, even in the T constant then also there are mi minimum uh, five variables so because five variables can you can you visualize it using a five we're using using a 3d uh, diagram what do you think can you visualize it using a 3d diagram or two dimension diagram no. yeah you can it's really hard yeah um it it may it, it, it may be can yeah it, it it might can but we have to set the the other maybe two should be in constant yeah so we have to slide it so we have to uh put maybe x b and y b constant then then we can uh, again construct different so so but because with ever changing x b ever changing x a and y a of course it's gonna be difficult with the diagram so uh, for the multi-component distillation, we're, we're not going to do it using graphically, uh, but we're going to use it using uh, equation. Yeah. So we're going to have a set, some set of equations. So we're going to try to visualize with, uh, with the, those equations to solve those problems and also to check the, the, uh, the, for example, to find the equilibrium stage, to find the reflux ratio, to find the the number of stage yeah to find the intercept for example we're going to use it some with some equations okay the equation that uh, come uh, that also accom accommodate those uh, variables okay um right so let's um let us uh, go to the next chapter okay so um for the equilibrium because we can't uh, visualize it with the two dimension diagram we can visualize it with uh, XY diagram yeah so in two dimension we can have uh, XY diagram for example yeah equilibrium but for uh, three or four or five components we can't visualize that because there is a uh, dependent yeah there's a Correlation between Y A Y B Y C Y D X A X B X C A D. So, um, uh, because of that, we're gonna use uh, this one, the the value of K, uh, using uh, K value. Yeah. Do you know about K value? Is it? Uh, have you have you learned that about K value in the thermo? In the thermodynamics.
Hello. Is it something that we guess it, Ibu? Mm, no, a little bit different. Oh, you know, you know the fugacity, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay, all right then. So if if not about uh, if you haven't learned about that, so I'm gonna introduce this uh, k value. This k value is actually a, um, this one is actually a ratio between the um, fraction in the component of i in the vapor phase divide that the mole fraction of uh, i in the liquid phase okay and this k value is uh, a function of temperature and pressure okay so we're going to use this one uh, k value uh, so uh, and then after that uh, this uh, later would be uh, and then to to check also the relative volatility of each uh, i is actually later I'm gonna introduce uh, a term of relative volatility I uh, this is actually the K uh, I divided by K H K a heavy key I'm gonna tell you later yeah but anyway uh, this is the one that you should uh, start to getting along with which is uh, the K value and because K value is gonna change this correlation uh, uh this is based actually if you have in, in this point you have uh composition in the uh, equilibrium in the vapor phase and also equilibrium of the, in the liquid phase okay and then this point is changed into this k value okay and to obtain the k value uh it is based on the thermodynamic data and also to, uh, to prediction from thermodynamic model um and also uh all of the heavy database uh, we also can have it in high seats yeah that's why uh, maybe after a few weeks after this we're gonna uh, introduce high seats uh, to ex uh, so because we can also can find the k value in high seats but, but but it's basically it based on all the database and then they put it into the software right okay uh this is to big uh, so small uh, let me and show and then let's have a look on the each uh, component right let's make it bigger okay uh, later I want you to uh, print uh, some of this and also or maybe if you can do it uh, using a line uh, using uh, here is also fine but uh, okay you make it there yeah okay so for example uh, make uh, yeah let's make it bigger here right yeah so this one uh, is a very is this a very old nomogram uh, I think I took it also from thermodynamics books yeah uh, so if if you look at around here uh, there is a, a component the name of the component can you see <laughs> uh, can you see it yes we can. yeah 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 okay yeah it should be a little bit bigger see there is a methane there is ethylene ethane propylene propane isobutane and butane isopentane and pentane and hexane and heptane and octane and non nonane and, and decane so it's basically uh, from c1 to c10 yeah so uh, all of this uh, ruler the, the the curve ruler here are the scale for the k value for each uh, hydrocarbon all right uh, in the uh, vertical one you have a uh, pressure yeah and over here you have temperature so remember let let's have a look the temperature okay uh yeah so uh let's check uh don't forget to check the a unit so p in a kpa and also temperature in a uh, degree celsius yeah now uh how to read the k value 
of for example at uh, the pressure is 700 uh, degree Celsius, uh, 700 kPa at um, for example at 150 degrees Celsius for example so what is the what is the K value so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put insert uh, again line from the pressure of uh, 700 around here to the temperature which is about 150 degree okay got it okay and then maybe make it a little bit bigger there okay oops too big okay yeah can you see the line and then now you can read the k value for each uh, component yeah you, you need to do it manually because uh, now we're trying we, uh, we are uh, train you yeah we're, we're training you to to understand but later uh, when you do it in for example final project or uh, in the in the operation in the if you're for example uh, when you are at work of course you're not you're not gonna do this yeah you're maybe you're gonna use the high seas but before you you're using the high seas you should know how to really get it using manually right okay so what is the k of the uh, Mm, let's have a look so maybe let's have uh, have a look so what is the k value and then this is the the component yeah c1 then we can read it here okay uh i can't really see so this is 50 40 30 so uh, 30 32 33 34 38 yeah around 38 yeah so so for c1 the k value is 38 yeah uh over here ethane yeah this is ethylene this is ethane so maybe around this one it's a little bit difficult to see it um maybe around so 10 20 this is 20 10 maybe row 9 yeah and then look at the propane uh, this one and then it's getting long yeah uh, this is 15 10 9 8 7 this is the c3 uh, eh, sorry the, uh, this is the c3 7 and then c4 uh, and retain uh, maybe about five four three so maybe about three point six yeah um uh, for the for the assignment of course uh i'm gonna give you the more clear yeah uh compared to this one uh should be much easier uh, should, should, uh, you, should, you have to make it clearer uh and then this one is one point five this is two so maybe one point one point nine okay for example okay so this is an example uh how to read the component uh at uh, a certain pressure at a certain pressure and also uh temperature yeah um what can you uh, see from here uh the k what can you what, what can you see from this data the k is decreasing k is decreasing increasing with I mean decreasing when oh decreasing all oh, right yeah uh, uh, k is decreasing with the increasing number of molecule yeah you mean yeah okay uh, right so you can see that see uh, the c1 is the, the more volatile yeah so the 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 higher k is that means that the the component is more volatile yeah so uh, later when you when you have this type of k value like this then you can uh, write that this becomes your a component a which is the more the most uh, volatile and then this is the component b this is the component c this is the component d this is the component e so the, the numbering for the components we got we're gonna look at from those k value if the 
it is uh, the the more volatile it is, which is k. Uh, the higher k means that the the fraction would be much more in the vapor phase compared to the liquid phase, right? So the higher k is the more volatile of those components. Yeah. Uh, over here, uh, let's have a look. It's also similar, but but at lower temperature, I think, and also at higher pressure. So you can also have a look uh, with that one there. All right. Uh, so that's the end of the session. So let's uh, go. Let's have a look on the next module. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna see uh, like you see that my pen looks funny when I uh, put it full screen so um, I won't uh, yeah I, I won't be in the full screen now so then I can write some things here okay now once we know about the uh, the concept of multi-component distillation why we have uh, for about why we have uh, we need to have a K, yeah, a K, the K value to get the equilibrium. Now let's have a look about the key component, component kun key, yeah. So what is the key component? Okay, um, the, what is the concept of key component? It actually happens also in the binary distillation, yeah. If there is only, uh, if, uh, for example, if it is only binary distillation, um, uh, you know, uh, there's one possibility of separation between A and B. Yeah, this one is the the, the separation is around here. Okay, uh, of course, in practice, it's not possible to separate A and B to be pure A and B. So the top product would be comprised with component A with a little bit of impurity for B, and component B uh, also will have uh, have impurities of A. Okay, um, so. Uh, at this point, uh, A uh, would be the light key component of uh, light key component in the bottom product. Yeah, and B is the called the heavy key component in the uh, distillate. Okay, so uh, usually uh, we we uh, check the the uh, the requirement in the problem in the problem uh, that is assigned. Uh, how much the light key component or how much heavy key component we we want in the process? For example, okay, I want a product which comprises of ninety nine point ninety five percent of A. So it is locked that the heavy component. Yeah, the heavy component, which is B in the uh, distillate, should be 0.05%. Yeah, we have to require that we have to lock them uh, because it's a key component. Should be 0.05% uh, or maybe less than that. Yeah, if we have the product, uh, our uh, tower uh, or or uh, equipment has more than the requirement, that's fine. Yeah, but we have to lock the minimum requirement as the product, so the, our product should be on spec. All right, uh, this is for two components, which is uh, there is only one possibility, yeah, between A and B. Um, now, for tannery mixture, uh, this the distribution or the yeah, the distribution it can be uh, the distributed component. It it can be between. A and B, yeah, which is so uh, some a little bit of B would be distributed in the uh, in the distillate, and also a little bit of A would be distributed in the uh, bottom, yeah, or maybe B, yeah. So there are two uh, uh, two uh, opportunities here, yeah. There are two type here. Uh, there are two scenario or B or or. C, B and C is distributed. So, so that means if if this is the key components, that means we're gonna have A, of course, as the top product, and uh, B and C uh, here, B and then a little bit of C in the distillate, and yeah, in the distillate. While in the bottom, then we have we're gonna be a little bit of B, okay? 
So in this case, what is the heavy key? Which one? B or A? B. B, but why B? Um, impurity in the distillate. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nadifa, because it is uh, separated between A and B. So, so heavy key is the uh, the the most heavier component. Uh, the most have the, the most heavier component that press that's important and that is present in the distillate. Okay. So I'm gonna write it here because sometimes you you need a little bit of. Uh, a concept yeah so heavy key is the uh, heavy in important component that present in the distillate Okay, so uh, heavy key is the heavy uh, important component that is present in the distillate. Yeah, um, I have a question. When I when I see this one, I have a question to Pak Danu. Yeah, Pak Pak uh, Pak Danu, how to get the uh, how to determine which one is the heavy key? Is it B or is it C? Ah, yeah. And Pak Danu said that uh, if we have number of components. Is actually uh, it's gonna be specified in the problem, or we have to extract them from the the problem. I mean, uh, usually in the uh, in the specification of product, there are some important uh, uh, impurity. Yeah, there are some impur uh, important impurity uh, that is uh, very important that must be present in the product. If it is more than that, then the the product is on spec. Yeah, so then. Uh, for heavy key, so for example, there are one, two, oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, for example. Yeah. So uh, it it might be it might be happen that sometimes uh, the the heavy key may be for example around this one for example. It it may be a, a, it, it may be applied yeah uh, an example or maybe for but for the light key should be for example this one. It might happen. Okay. So this I'll write example. So uh, with this um, definition, we can conclude that uh, HK, uh, heavy key is the heaviest co important component that is present in the distillate. What about F? Maybe F doesn't present in the distillate. Yeah, it would be, uh, maybe it would be, but very, very, very tiny and it's not important uh, for the specification of the product. Okay, so that, uh, for example, this is A is the heavy key. Now, with that, what is the light key? Yeah, uh, uh, con contrary to the heavy key, the light key is the light important components that must, uh, that present in the bottom product. So the uh, light important uh, component that present in the distillate. Bu. Yeah. Okay. Kasi. So, is it that you only can have one type of heavy key and one type of uh, yeah, light key? Bu. Yeah, usually like that. But sometimes there would be some distributed later on, I think. Uh, this one. There's some special case that uh, this tree is distributed, but uh, ordinary, yes, like this. So, um, yeah. So, for example, here, yeah. Uh, let's look at the, this example so you can you can see uh, the big picture. So, if I have five components A, B, C, D, E, and F, for some reason, for example, I want all of the B goes into the distillate. So, I only want maybe only maybe uh, 0 0.05 should be only left in the bottom product because this is so precious. For example, yeah. 
uh, any A present in the bottom product, that's fine. I don't care. But B, uh, I only want uh, 0 0.05% 0 of B in the bottom product and all of them should go to the, the distillate because it's very important. This is my my valuable product. So the, L, uh, the LK is the light key. Okay. Um, yeah. So this one there. Okay. Uh, yeah. There are. This is an uh, example for for uh, quite more. Yeah. Uh, five. Yeah. But for this case, uh, this one here. Uh, so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna erase this. Uh, just this is an example. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. So if, for example, you want. Uh, B and C in your distillate. So it means both B and C are the light keys. Is that right? The distillate, you choose the heaviest one in the distillate. Oh, you can only choose one, yeah? Yeah, the, the heaviest breath, yeah, the heaviest. Okay. Yeah, good. If you want, a, a good question. If you want A and B present in the distillate, then you choose the, the heavy key is your uh, heaviest one. That's why it's called heavy key, yeah. But, but, uh, that's why heavy key would be always in the distillate, while the light key would be. Oh, uh, this is in the bottom product, yeah. Okay, so so based on here, so the distributed component it can be A to B, or maybe in other scenario B and C is more important. So the distributed component that we want is a B and C, right? In this case, the the uh, heavy key uh, is the B, and the light key is A. Uh, and for this case, uh, the B is the uh, heavy uh, or this one. Or it should be C. Yeah? C is the heavy key, and then B is the light key. A is the yeah A is the light key and B is the heavy key right okay all right uh, let's get one more okay uh, four components yeah um, sometimes uh, it can be also the four components here uh, okay uh sorry so i think uh looks like the heavy key and the distillate key should be the the two components that should be uh similar yeah so my uh, example before i have c2 and c5 uh looks like doesn't apply here uh so so it should be uh correlated yeah so the the nearest one yang paling berdekatan yeah the the distributed component that we want between uh, b and a for example or between c and b or between d and c so how we gonna get that uh, usually is based on the uh, an example okay and also like uh, to answer caffeine uh, there are special case that where are three or more this uh, component are distributed uh, Usually that happen when the characteristic of those uh, material, uh, th those components, are uh, very, very similar. So it is usually always uh, distributed, if uh, would be present in the distillate and also in the bottom product. Right. Um, yes, I have a question. Yeah, okay. Um, the other components other than the light key and the high key, um, how do we know which, uh, where do they go? Like instead of the distillate or the right. product? Um, the component that is uh, lighter than the heavy key always goes into the distillate. Yeah. The component that is uh, heavier than the light key always go into the bottom. That's why when you, we do the numbering, we have to be sure that we, um, Mengurutkan ya, we we put the numbers based on the relative uh, the volatility. Yeah, so A is more volatile than B, B is more volatile than C, C is more volatile than D. 
how we get it using the, those k value yeah uh, check in one uh, certain points which one is the more volatile one yeah for example uh, that one there. okay is it answering your question Fatia uh, yes bro. I understand thank you right <laughs> Okay, uh, next, okay, this is an example. Okay, um, so uh, that's very interesting. Uh, this one here, um, we have a, a feed, yeah. Oops, we have a feed, um, which is 45 normal meter cubic per hour. Um, and then uh, this is this is the uh, components one two three four five six uh, from C three to C N six yeah and then uh, it is a mole percent yeah and and in the mole percent and this is the feed uh, usually if it is start from uh, weight percent then we have to change it into mole percent yeah uh, if it is now in the uh, volume then you can uh, uh, convert them into the mole percent or how many kilomole per hour yeah uh, so here the feed uh, you cha change it to how many mole yeah what is normal cubic hour check again thermo yeah that is uh, uh, equal to how many mole using PV and RT, yeah? So you got the R, you got the oh, uh, P and T at the normal, and then you got the volume, and then you're gonna get the uh, N, yeah? And then the feed is actually uh, 1840. Yeah, based the calculation, but uh, if, you, if you're if uh, you curious, you can uh, check again the calculation. Okay, based on the normal do you uh okay do you remember what is the difference between standard meter cubic per hour and normal uh, meter cubic per hour what is the pressure and what is the temperature anyone remember is it 25 degree for the for the normal or yeah uh, anyway just please check yeah the normal uh, normal is 20 if i'm not mistaken bro. 20 yeah if i'm not mistaken normal is 20 20 or 25 how about standard kevin standard is 25 I think, bro. Huh? standard is zero yeah eh bentar bentar ini <laughs> ketuker bu ya yeah, ya yeah. yeah, please please check ya yeah. uh yeah uh, uh yeah it's been a while for me to check the thermodynamics yeah uh, I don't uh, teach thermodynamics so please please check that one there but anyway if you uh, Kevin if you want to check uh the total from forty five normal uh, cubic meter per hour it become uh, one eight forty kilomole per hour okay and then you multiply it with the percentage of mole and then you got those uh, feed okay let's say we want the product is uh, to the top product is eight uh, normal uh, meter cubic per hour with this uh, percentage of mole so using the mass balance you also can convert it into uh, kilomole per hour and then uh, you got here at uh, 327.11 uh, and then you multiply it with this one so this is the top product yeah now um uh, in this case like fatia said or like i think said uh so which one is the lk and hk yeah uh so one important point lk and hk is always uh, distributed dia selalu paling dekat komponennya right uh, paling deketan ya yeah? for example between A and B uh, for example for example between C and D ya yeah? the, the distributed component okay so uh, in here uh, it's interesting so uh, after this this is from slide from Pak Danu so he calculate the top product and based on that and he can get the this is the feed this is the the distillate and this is the bottom and how to get the bottom product just 
subtract them yeah from here to here okay okay now uh the next step so then we have the bottom product okay now now if in the problem is that the, it, it is not stated uh which one is the heavy key and the uh, light key then we can see uh so back again from the heavy key is the heaviest important company that present in the distillate okay so the heaviest one so the heaviest one is between n c4 and i uh, c5 yeah is, is this a number 0 0.01 this is a this is this is still, still number yeah this is still, still quite significant so uh, then uh, this one is gonna be your heavy key see the heavy key the heaviest important components that present in the distillate and then in the distillate so the heavy uh, key is uh, isopentane okay with that you can uh, okay so then this is the uh, heavy key so uh, what is the L key of course the the light key is the the one that distributed uh, with the H key yeah back to here uh, look at just look at uh, this one yeah for example a b uh, it is distributed yeah between a and b this is between b and c this is e a uh, sorry this is c and d so so always heavy key and our key is uh, distributed yeah paling dekat uh, komponennya so again so uh, what is the heavy uh, what is the light key Dama Can you guess which one is the light key? Kevin, what so what is the light key? E3 bu. E3 Where is E3? Nggak ada. C, eh. Bentar, bentar, bentar. The one yang paling dekat. The LK and HK. The the, the most, uh, the uh, apa? Tetangga ya. The, the neighboring uh, component that has uh, yeah, very close uh, volatility. Fatia? Which one is the light key? Um, I'm not sure, Miss. I still don't understand why I C five is the high key. Right. Why do you, I okay. Don't good. Uh, why I uh I C five? Why I saw pentane is the high key, because uh so look at the top products. Yeah. What are the components that present in the top product? C three, right? I C four and c4 and i5 right because after this there is no components yeah fatia okay yes bro. yeah and then because we don't have any information which one is the uh, all of them have the number yeah so all of them is important okay but we choose the heaviest one so which one is the heaviest one that have a number is this one i c5 or i saw pentane uh by heaviest you mean by its molecular weightness yep oh okay thank you yep. Dari urutan. Uh -uh. molecular weight because uh why why i did i, I didn't say nc6 as the heavy key fatia uh because the number is not available yeah because because we don't uh because 
there should not be uh, NC6 in here yeah so the number that we we're looking for is uh, the one that available in the top product okay with that um, Helena what do you think about the uh, light key so what is the component for the light key this just to confirm the light key is the lightest important component that is present in the bottom product right yep would it be i'm not sure but maybe nc4 yeah uh the uh the 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 lightest component that present in the bottom product but it's also always paired with the h key, uh, h key yeah it's always paired right so helena you're right so your the nc4 now this one is your light key so see uh light key and heavy key always paired with each other yeah yeah so if you find uh, the h key then you can find the light key so later this in uh this will be distributed uh so yeah this is one is the distributed between the uh light key and the heavy key like that okay Right. Okay. Yes, I have a question. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Oh, Patia, Patia. Go, go, Patia. Oh, okay. Um, how, what do you mean by important component? Like, how do we know if it's important or not? Uh, uh, <laughs> how to say? Yeah. Let Let's open the book. Let's open the book. Uh, have a look at this one. Let's open the book. Uh, Okay, let's have a look the distillation multi component system Okay, so many distillation of industry involve more than two components. Well, the principle of established for binary solution generally applies to such distillation. The new problem of design are introduced, which requires special consideration. Yeah, so uh, in internary system, it may be we separated uh, A, B first, and then we separated A and B. Or maybe we have the top product A and then we have B and C. So this one in this case, the distributed is between A and uh, B, yeah, for example, uh, a B and C, for example, here. Um, let me try check, 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 check. Mm, okay, uh, let's, let's, let's uh, ask read this one yeah together so we have some idea so it is convenient to list the li uh, the the feed components in order to for their relative volatility the more volatile component is the light and the less uh, volatile component is heavy okay there are uh, will be uh, frequently one component which is called the light key component which is present in the residue or in a bottom product in important amounts while the uh, components lighter than the light key are present in the only small amount if all components are present in the residue at important concentration uh, the, then the most volatile is the light key so see um, if all components are present in the residue or important important con uh, concentration then the most volatile is the light key Similarly, there, there will be one component, heavy key component, present in the distillate in important amounts, while components heavier than the heavy key are present in only small amounts. If all components, like maybe in this, or in this case, yeah, 
if all components are found in the distillate at important concentration, then the least volatile is the heavy key. So, um, uh, yeah, so uh, to answer your uh, Fatia's question, so which one is uh, important? Which one is uh, very important or not? Sometimes yeah, it, should, we, it should be uh, happened in the uh, distillate. It should be happened in, the, in, the, in that problem, yeah. Uh, but if not, so for example, in in our uh, example here, okay, uh, uh, in our example here, we have those those of them in the in the top product are important, yeah. The the top product is important, yeah, because uh, there's a number here, uh, zero point seventy nine point one ninety nine one forty. Uh, 9 and then 0 0.01 so those uh, are important or uh, are defined yeah uh, the the other uh, way to say it maybe are defined okay so then to choose the heavy key is the one that the heaviest one so go back here maybe should I okay uh, yeah so if all components uh, are found in the distillate are important con 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 uh, concentration like in our case all of them uh, are defined the the mole percentage then uh, the least volatile is the uh, heavy key the least volatile which is the the heaviest one yeah the the, the bottom one okay, okay. Uh, I'll give you two or three minutes to read this one let me know if you have any other questions okay what do you think looking at the textbook is it answering your question or still uh, confused uh, I understand miss right how about the others Bo yeah why is it that the heavy key and the light key needs to be neighboring to each other? Right, because, uh, yeah, that's my question as well. Why we can't have they separated? Because uh, light key and the heavy key is always distributed. Uh, it's, it's always distributed one uh, in the distillate and one in the bottom. But uh, which one the heavy key and the, uh, the, the heavy key and the distillate sorry the the which one to that's why to choose the components and the uh to choose which one is the uh, l key and then the heavy key is actually based on our problem definition yeah for example in this case maybe for um i should put this one uh maybe i'm gonna put this one and then uh so you don't okay so i can maybe put it in the okay here so you so we don't uh, be let me put this one first so at least you can have a look mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So, uh, a very good question, uh, Kevin. So, actually, um, this one, uh, this will, um, the way we choose L key and H key will determine the top product and the bottom product that we get. If we calculate, uh, for example, if we calculate, uh, for example, I want the L key is IC4, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah. And also the heavy key, I want that as NC4, for example. If I require that one, for the separation, the distillate would only uh, contain C3 
IV4 and NV4. So there's no IC5 here. Okay, while in the bottom would be maybe from the remaining. Okay, so 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 it so see the 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 choose uh, the the option to get which one is the heavy key and the the heavy key and the light key is actually gonna be impacted on the uh, result of the product. If you choose the heavy key and uh, for example N C four, then your top product only up to this one. So then you you don't specify. Uh, the last one and sometimes usually the amount of the heavy key is, is quite small yeah the the, the, the composition the, the important amount doesn't mean that it should be have to be very big one uh, so usually it is present in a small amount how about that Kevin yeah I kind of understand it yeah yeah let's let's have a look uh, the next uh, slide yeah about a practice right um let's have a look about this one okay uh, uh this one is actually uh ideally you have to open excel yeah you have to open excel so i think uh it, let's check this one uh i'm gonna open excel okay now um let's let's have uh maybe 10 minutes break to uh, copy this one to your excel so you have your own excel yeah so this one should be in the uh, excel so we can gonna continue it okay my excel this one okay meanwhile uh, you can check the the module on edunex yeah um well i'll try to copy them so it is in the multi-component distillation yeah meanwhile okay um multi-component distillation and then look at the i think the key component should be here yeah the key components there And and okay yeah this one there and then uh, this one uh, I don't know uh, this one or the next one yeah I think there should be some ex uh, uh, assignments about this so it would be a good idea if you can uh, copy this one on the uh, you you make again the table on the Excel because uh, our uh, Excel is a very powerful the very powerful tool yeah for us uh as a chemical engineer uh, i always using excel for many many uh steps yeah algorithms so let's write uh, this is distillation component uh, this is we have to change which one is l key and a heavy key and this is the component i this is the component uh, that I F and then let me have a look a very quick one uh, X I D F I B F I D I D I B I K I F K I D K I D and alpha E F. K. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, make it. Make it bigger. This one, put it in the center and make it bold. Okay, right. Mm. And then we also need to find the component of some. There. And this one we have pressure. Uh, at the top, the bottom. You can try do it by yourself too, yeah. And average because this is gonna be our spreadsheet kilogram. is the flow the flow is in kilomole per hour and also we have temperature which is uh, degree celsius uh, feed feed hot You will have a lot of spreadsheet yeah, during your student life. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Make it bigger there. Okay. Okay. Let's. Um, okay. To, to read this one here, you have to, uh, to uh, do it one by one. So, for example, say F. Um, Right. Okay, let's have a look about this one and then I'm gonna do it uh, in the uh, bottom product. So, so this is called a data sheet. Uh, we, we choose the, the, we put all of the information on the data sheet. The first one, so, uh, uh, so look at the, uh, the data sheet first. Uh, I think that this one there should be some uh, or Orion yeah or the or the problem uh, section so but anyway from here we see that uh, there is um, uh, feed yeah the feed is about uh, uh, 250 kilo mole per hour yeah feed so let's put it here and then um, also the 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 top product is uh, so the it is defined as uh, twenty three point nine uh, kilogram per uh, square centimeter gauge yeah G is gauge okay do you know uh, kilogram per centimeter uh, square gauge is equal to what check it yeah in the uh, in the conversion sheet, uh, in the conversion unit, uh, what is the maybe let, maybe let, let's make it big. Mm. Okay, yeah. Okay, 
So you have to check the con uh, you, you have to check uh, this is actually kilogram per centimeter square gauge is equal to about uh, about bar yeah maybe about about bar or about atm so this is about 23.9 bar and then uh, usually the top is less compared to the bottom so because there's a, a uh, there would be some a pressure drop yeah so then uh, you want to have so here uh, we have the average let's say the average uh, for the for the pressure for the, our calculation is around 24 okay this is the if if the problem is defined as the gauge the pressure in gauge then to check the absolute we have to add one more one bar more yeah tambah satu atm yeah so uh, one atm is about one kilogram uh, per square square uh, yeah per square centimeters yeah so then we add one uh, so this one plus one okay so that's about 25 okay and after that uh, we also need to change it into kilopascal absolute yeah check uh, how to the conver uh, conversion between kilogram uh, s uh, uh, square centimeters to the kpa uh, and then maybe this one here uh, is up to uh, let's just write the conversion about 2452 okay why you need pressure why we need pressure because we need to find the k value yeah we need to later on we need to find the k value so we need the information of pressure and also the temperature right Okay, the next uh, question is also we know the flow here uh, is written as to, uh, to, to 250 so I'm gonna use uh, 250 kilomol per hour and also here we have the temperature of the feed which is uh, 100 degrees Celsius so let's put it into uh, 100 degrees Celsius okay okay um, uh, in the problem uh, we know the feed is actually comprise of this component so let's write it just the component one two three four five six seven eight oops seven eight and the component are uh, c2 c3 ic4 eh. <laughs> mm. c2 c3 I C four uh, and C four I oops I C five and C five. So there are six components, yeah. And then uh, uh, here uh, we have also the composition of the uh, feed, yeah. So that I F we have the composition. So then we can. Uh, put it there okay make it uh, nicer so maybe you can want to make it like this into the middle and also put the uh, maybe four numbers behind the comma there's behind those points here yeah? That's very nice and uh, also put all of them in the center. Ah, see, that's nice. And also this one too, put it maybe with a little bit of... There, okay. Right, so uh, let's uh, have, uh, let's just check it, sum it, sum it up. Is it this should be up to one okay so this one is one and maybe make it this one yeah that. okay now um let's say uh so here uh the fi yeah the F, fi is the feed of the component yeah 
feed of the component feed of each component which is uh, should be the the total should be all of the f yeah 250 so how to get the feed of each component we have to multiply the component with the feed yeah and then use uh, this one to make it similar Ta -da. Ah. okay and don't forget to sum it up okay yeah uh, make it like that and then maybe put this one as two number before okay that's the fit uh I want uh, this one to get this one I have to check the an example mm, where is the example yeah mm, let me let me stop share and then uh, I have a look the the problem yeah it's easier to get the the problem Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I found it. Right, finally I found it uh this one. Okay, thanks for waiting. Hmm, but this is different uh different example, yeah? Uh okay, so I'm not gonna use this example then. Uh yeah. Uh, anyway, back to here um usually uh it is should be defined yeah uh usually sometimes uh in this case it is uh this, this it is it defined so home for example uh in this case uh it distillate how many okay uh for example uh, in this case how many goes into the distillate and how many goes into the bottom yeah and so the h key is the heaviest one that present in the distillate so it looks like this this number is based on the specification of the problem yeah the the, the specification of the, the problem and then here uh let's say we got uh 1.5 for the uh heavy key and then uh 80 points 80 uh 80 point uh sorry uh, uh, 30.88 in the distillate J just let's say put it just the number there okay 10.88 okay so okay 
1.63 let's say uh, let's say this one is defined just from the uh, from the problems yeah I got it uh, from the team teaching mm. okay anyway okay uh, I'm gonna put it maybe uh, bold so it is based on the team teaching okay uh, uh, on the problem okay now uh, the next steps uh, what we're gonna do is to uh, to solve the mass balance yeah we have to to solve the mass balance first so um, by to uh, what does it mean to solve the mass balance then we have to find uh, all the components uh, in the distillate and in the bottom in this case uh, they don't they, they don't specify which one goes to the distillate and which one goes to the bottom okay so what should we do okay okay so what should we do uh, first uh, looking back and then this is uh, written as the light key and this one is written as the heavy key Maybe I'm going to put it with the uh, yellow there, right? Okay, so uh, what is the, uh, so the, uh, so what is the uh, definition of heavy key? Again, the most important component uh, that present in the distillate, yeah? So because, it, and, and also, uh, and it happens in small amount. So because of that, we can, uh, the the other heavier than uh, heavy key is not important here so we can uh, assume see uh, we can assume that uh, this actually become zero which is um uh, this is an uh, assumption yeah which is it met it might not be uh, right okay so i'm just gonna put this one as assumption but uh, maybe put it with uh, a red one because we don't know yeah Okay, we don't know. Okay, and this one because on uh here from here uh thirty two point five thirty goes to the distillate, uh it is uh some of them go to the bottom. So in logically, if we have a component which is lighter than this one, so all of them should go into the distillate. Yeah. So I'm gonna write this is as thirty five, again with uh assumption, and maybe so there is nothing in the bottom for the very uh the situ which is the the lightest component yeah uh so the, again this is uh, uh i mean this gonna be the uh assumption okay and to get the uh the uh so bi so then of course uh that's equal to b uh, uh the equal of the component in the fit minus the component in the distillate so this is my uh, my assumption okay the assumption can be right can be wrong yeah uh, with the, so now we know the uh, amount of distillate and the bottom yeah uh, for each phase and then we can sum it up okay so then we have uh, 67.380 uh, and the, in the distillate and also 182 in the bottom okay the next step is to find the xid which is the composition of the distillate can you do that using the composition of the uh, the amount of distillate divided by the total in the distillate hmm. Okay, and then uh, put it there, thing, and then this is the one, and then make make it make it easy. Uh, this is nice. Okay, with similar question or with similar approach, also we can find the composition of the bottom by uh, dividing the bi with the total of the bi with again with the dollar. So uh, we can have that one there. Okay. So all of those uh, numbers there, 
uh, the one that is right maybe only the heavy key and the light key but the others is uh, would be an example uh, would be some assumption okay to make to check it let's sum it up there okay so here your mass balance is finished okay see so we put the uh, the distillate up to here and then we have uh, those compensation okay now uh, the next step uh, this one okay the next step to get this one here then you want to find the uh, the K uh, the K feet yeah you want to find the K what is the composition of K And what is the, the formula for K? It's actually Y divided by X, yeah? But to get the Y to uh, an X, you have to... Uh, okay. To find K, what should we do? The K of component, like for example, this one. We have to check the nomogram, yeah, because K is a function of pressure and temperature, yeah. So that's why we have to find the f the K I feed, which is K at uh, temperature uh, in the temperature of feed. We have to find the temperature, for example, one hundred degrees Celsius, and then the pressure around. Uh, Two four five two, yeah, uh, kilopascal, uh, and then find it uh, the K value, yeah, and then uh, here uh, they find the K value is around uh, this this part there. Okay, and then uh, so it is it is I know this is gonna be time consuming, so from here then you can find uh, the all of the K value. Uh, for each component, yeah, for each component, uh, which is the, I'm gonna go back here. Okay, um, and the component here. So find the component at, for example, the pressure is uh, 2452 when temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, how about the distillate? Can you can you know the the the, the pressure? Uh, can you know the temperature of distillate and the bottom? Based from here, can you get it the temperature? Anyone? Do we have temperature in the problem? Of course not, yeah. We don't know which one is the temperature top and also which uh, which one is the temperature of the bottom. You see, okay. So again, this also is uh, assumption. That's why later the process is very iterative, yeah. That's why we we're not gonna use it as an exam, yeah. It's gonna just only a Google group assignment. It's gonna take long time, <laughs> yeah. Uh, bec uh, if we don't, uh, of course, we don't know which one is the top and which is in the bottom. Uh, then we can do some assumption. Uh, this assumption 50 is also usually based on the uh, cooling water. So let's say the cooling water is up to uh, 25 degree to 35 degree. So the top one should be uh, yeah around 10 to 15 after that. So around 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the bottom we also assume. Uh, it should be more than 100 uh, should be long enough maybe so if uh, the delta between here is 50 so maybe we also add 50 from the uh, feed temperature so around 150 degrees Celsius right so then with that uh, we assume uh, assume T distillate is uh, 50 degrees Celsius 
uh, sorry, 50 degrees Celsius and also um, 50 degrees Celsius while the K bottom also 150 degrees Celsius. Okay. Once you know the K, uh, all of them, then you can find the alpha. Yeah. Why we need alpha? Alpha is defined as a K of the I, the component I, divided by K H K. This is just to to check the uh, untuk mengurutkan ya to check the relative volatility uh, to the heavy key yeah because the heavy key that we define is the uh, IC4 then uh, for IC4 the volatility relative volatility is one and then uh, so this one is the component uh, is uh, 1.75 1.11 and then so on so this one is the uh, the key uh, sorry the components that is heavier than the heavy key and this one is the component that lighter from the heavy key all right i'm gonna uh, stop it here and then uh, maybe uh, and then let you uh, digest this and then let me know if you have any questions Okay, any questions? Everyone's quiet. Still trying to digest. Hello. Yes, Bu, digesting, Bu. <laughs> All right then. Okay. Uh Right. Uh, anyway, uh, so what is why we have to calculate this one? Uh, because we want to calculate the number of equilibrium stages, like in the binary uh, uh, distillation, right? Uh, now, but 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 I don't know why you have to uh, find the k. Why you have to find the relative volatility? Why you have to do a lot of assumption? Why if our assumption is wrong? Of course, your assumption will be wrong, okay? And then you have to do the iteration again. So it's gonna be very very painful. Anyway, um, I think there would be questions later. So I'm gonna continue to the next uh, module. How to uh, start uh, calculating the the equilibrium yeah uh, sorry the, the equilibrium stage uh, for multi-component distillation okay let's go to the next stage uh, for we called it uh, method pintas or shortcut method right mm. Okay, but before that, looks like I need uh, a drink. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna pause a uh, few minutes and then I'll get back to you. Okay, uh, let's continue the shortcut method. Uh, why, why it's called the shortcut method because of method of pintas? Uh, it's because uh, we uh, it is not accurate, yeah, it is not accurate, but it can give you some valuable information that's uh, not uh, mentioned in the problems. Okay, uh, so later we're gonna continue about uh, there are shortcut method and next week uh, also then we're gonna continue with oh next week is exam so the next week after uh, is the uh, rigorous method or the exact method right uh, okay so uh, what is the the 
the purpose of the shortcut method uh, just to recall in binary distillation now because we're gonna have the exam Uh, what do we need to uh, to build the the equilibrium stages? We need to find once we know the zf, uh, xd, and xb, yeah, and also the q line, right? Uh, then we need to find the the rm, man. right? The rm. Yeah. Once we know the RM, we can find the R, and once we find the R, we can find the intercept, uh, and then we can find the uh, stages or the end. Okay. Now this also happens in the uh, multi-component distillation. Uh, we need to find the RM. Yeah. We want to find also the R, and then we also want to find the end. Okay. So this. Uh, a shortcut method is to find these things okay but but this only uh you know only uh the shortcut way yeah so it's only predict the theoretical stage on the uh, equilibrium of ideal uh, however in the multi component distillation we want to know in each stage uh what is the composition in each stage so if we want to do a side drawing yeah, or we want to add uh, multiple feet, we can understand where we have to put it, right? For example, we have a crude oil distillation, and then uh, if we have so many uh, components to deal with, uh, in which stage that we can withdraw propane, for example, in which stage we can propane, uh, we can withdraw uh, pentane, right? For, uh, or uh maybe uh, hexane for example where 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 is it then we have to check with the uh the composition okay so the shortcut method is to predict the theoretical stage uh, or equilibrium or the ideal while later on the second one is the regress method or the exact method is to uh, recalculate the theoretical stage sometimes the our assumption here can be um, maybe deviated about one to three stages and then also we want to calculate the composition and temperature in the vapor phase and liquid phase at every stage so we can do that okay uh, we will do that using uh, some uh, using the spreadsheet the excel and later uh, maybe the next two weeks or three weeks after we're gonna also come complemented with also uh, high seas yeah so if you can uh, install high seas uh, from the from the uh, program study uh, you can do so um, uh, there would be some yeah uh, so that because I will also explain to you how to do it in high seas uh, of course that's gonna be much faster but because we are training yeah to understand the design process and then uh, of course, this one uh, is the one that we need to uh, pass on. Okay, uh, the shortcut method is called FUG or the Fenske, Underwood, and Gillian. Gillian or Gillian? I think Gillian. Yeah. Gillian. Gillian. Right, Fenske. So the Fenske is to find the minimum stage of uh, uh, stage. So the Fenske is to find the uh, minimum stage or NM, uh, the total reflux, and also the composition correction. Remember, from our mass balance that we do before, um, mass balance, uh, we put some, uh, we put some assumption, right? We put that, okay, there's nothing uh, heavier than the heavy key. There's uh, all of the uh, uh, the C2 goes to the distillate. Uh, that is just assumption. But is it right or not? Uh, we have to check it first, and then uh, we have to done the comp composition correction. The second one is the uh, underwood, or to find the minimum reflux ratio. This one is to find the RM. And the Gilliland, Gilliland or Gillian, yeah? Gillian. Gillian. to uh, find the theoretical stage or n 
there's also one more correlation which is curved right uh, this is to find uh, which one goes to the top stage and which one goes to the bottom stage but sometimes uh, it's not really accurate okay so then may, sometimes we can leave it sometimes we can use it okay uh, let's check one by one ah, okay um wow okay to calculate this one we have to uh, so this is the Fenske method uh, that is to calculate nm with the top uh, and bottom product correction okay uh, the Fenske mm, I'm gonna make it smaller there because I'm gonna go back to here okay there yeah uh, the Fenske method is to calculate nm and the nm is uh, uh, defined as log of DLK and BHK divided by DHK multiplied with BLK, so the distillate, yeah, and divided by log al uh, alpha LK average. Ah, so uh, this is how to get the alpha LK average. Ah, so that means we have to find K uh, LK K HK. Uh, and so on okay so that's why we have to use uh, this one there yeah that's why we have to fill this one before we use the uh, transcript method let's erase uh, this one to make it easier and then uh, let's say I do the uh, nomograms I'm checking the K value and I got the Prefix one, yeah. The this one. Let's just uh, put it back, okay? Just to make sure. This one. Um, okay. Let's say I uh, copy them, and then I got this is K I treat one thirty five. Uh, For example, this is three one five. I got this one as two, and then one point eight, and then one point five. Eh, two. Two. One point eight. One point five. One one zero. And zero point. Yeah. Let's say I got it from uh, my calculation yeah trying to find it and then I got the KID is 4 2.5 uh, 2.0 1.8 1.4 and 1 ok and oh sorry this is the distillate yeah Okay, and this is four point. Uh, the DCL rate is two point one one zero point eighty one zero point forty one zero point twenty nine zero point one four and zero point nine. Yeah. Oh, zero po zero point one one. Yeah, just let's say uh, okay, let's say uh, I got this one. Yeah, this number. Okay, uh, maybe we can make it bigger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here I have to find the LK average. Yeah, I have to find the LK average, which is um, LK distillate plus LK of the bottom product, uh, multiply it, and then uh, we have to square root them. Okay, so here uh, I can write maybe here uh, alpha average. Okay, uh, alpha L. So this one is the LK, yeah. So alpha, uh, so alpha 
kalau the alpha alpha lk uh, wait wait so this is the alpha so the alpha so first uh sorry we have to find first also not not the alpha the alpha average first we have to find uh wait we have to find alpha distillate first yeah alpha in the distillate and alpha alpha in the uh, uh h key the heavy key okay make it bigger here okay so the So the alpha is defined as equal to ki divided by k hk yeah eh. okay it's equal to ki divided uh, ki divided by khk so this is the uh, so the alpha alpha of the feed for example here is equal to uh, alpha of the feed divided by the alpha of khk in the feed this one Alpha in the feed divided by alpha HK in the feed. I'm gonna put it uh, dollar there. So this is the alpha, and this one alpha the alpha like that. Okay, and then we we do it uh, like that. So uh, to get those, uh, so once we know the KIF, KID, and KIB, we find also the alpha. And also, uh, once we found the alpha there, and then uh, find the distillate uh, in the distillate and alpha in the bottom product, and then we uh, square root it and we got the alpha average. Okay, and then with that, then we can calculate the NM. Okay, so then this is a uh, pretty straightforward, but you have to know all of the uh, this one. So you have the alpha E in the feed, you have to find alpha e in the distillate you also have to find alpha e in the bottom and then you want to find the alpha e in the uh, average okay so you have to uh, do the cal those calculation okay so let's uh, do that uh, quickly uh, so this is the alpha in the feed uh, there Okay, I'm gonna put it there. Okay, and then this one is I'll, I want to find also alpha in the distillate, which is the K in the distillate divided by the heavy key. Yeah, you also want to find the heavy key there. Mm, put it there. And also alpha in the bottom. Mm, make it easier. Uh, oops. Okay, and also alpha in the bottom, K in the bottom, divided by the K H K. Yeah, H K in the bottom. Put the dollar in, so uh, divided all of them. There. Uh, and alpha average. Alpha average is actually. Uh, alpha in the distillate multiply with alpha in the bottom and then you uh, square root yeah multiply 0.9 there mm. okay that is your alpha average okay um so you know the alpha average now. Uh, put it there. Uh, put it there, and then stop text. Yeah. Okay. So once you know the alpha average, uh, then you can calculate this one. So NM. Yeah. 
I'm gonna copy this one here just to make it easier uh, to the spreadsheet uh, we have to go back to the spreadsheet okay so nm is the uh, divided by log of the alpha average alpha the light key average which is this one yeah the alpha light key average and then if you look at here the uh, nm is should be dlk so this is LK, LK, dlk divided by dhk multiply with bhk divided by blk nah, see so uh, my calculation says that the uh, minimum is about six yeah so nm is my uh, minimum value okay so this is my nm uh, or maybe yeah uh, two two comma is fine yeah there okay the, or just a uh, two comma that's fine so my nm is six now the question is so uh, based on this one uh, of course it's going to be recorded so uh, after this maybe on friday night uh, i'm gonna stop uploading to youtube and then uh, put it into edunex yeah so you can have a look uh, the next steps is to uh, i promise here that uh, fanske is to find the minimum uh, stage and m the total reflux which is i got it the second one is the composition correction ah. how to get that yeah um if you uh, if you think about it Yeah, if you if you if you if you check the, the the equation here, this equation also can be applied to any um, any component i. So if we choose uh, so n m also can stand into log of d not l k but d i component i yeah divided by dhk so the one that uh, should be uh, constant yeah yang sama is the dhk yeah divided by bhk for oh, uh, b i yeah divided by log alpha i average yeah so uh, because we know nm yeah, we know nm uh, we know bhk divided by dhk we also know the ei average then we can find the uh, di over bi uh, so from here we can find uh, di over bi there yeah uh, the alpha average we know that for for each uh, component i uh, we know the nm now nm is six okay um we also know the um, so then we can find here is the log uh, that one there yeah the log oh uh, yeah so anyway uh, it's, it's gonna be too long but anyway later on you can you can find it uh back to here um yeah it's gonna be too long but anyway uh you should uh, find the nm you got it for example six you also can calculate the alpha i average yeah for each component from one two three four five six you know the bhk the component in the but the, the amount of the bottom and also the amount of the heavy key and also the distillate of the bottom and the distillate of uh, sorry this one is uh, we, we want to find this one yeah uh, this one is known this one is known this one is known um, and and m is known then we can find the i over bi so this can uh, and also we know that 
di plus bi is actually going to be in the feed okay so once we know the ratio between the di and bi from uh, this equation uh, then we also know the feed then we can find the uh, the di and bi corrected yeah uh, sometimes the correction um, sometimes uh, yeah there should be some correction so our assumption sometimes uh, is not correct for example there's some tiny bit uh, of uh, component heavier than heavy key in the uh, in the distillate but again let's see uh, this uh, correction all right you may want to see this video again when you do the assignments uh, maybe the next two weeks but anyway just for now just just leave it like that yeah okay uh, the next step the, uh, the next question is to uh, f once we know the uh, NM the next step is to find RM yeah with, with uh, Underwood method in the Underwood method we calculate um, reflux minimum RM with the the R2 equation the t equation first is Underwood 1 and Underwood 2 okay in the underwood one and two um this is the first uh, equation for the underwood one and this is the underwood two uh, the equation two okay uh, so we want to find the vf which is the vapor uh, mo uh, molar rate of the feed the molar rate of uh, vapor feed uh, we calculate it with a uh, sigma or alpha i divided by fi yeah so if it is uh, we have for example five component you can imagine it's gonna be a very long equation so vf would be alpha i divided by f uh, multiply with fi alpha i minus uh, c plus alpha 2 f2 divided by alpha 2 minus c this one yeah plus alpha 3 f3 divided by alpha 3 minus c plus alpha 4 f4 divided by alpha 4 minus c plus alpha 5 f5 divided by alpha 5 minus c so uh, you you know the uh, a molar fraction of the feed in it should be in the um apa in the in the uh problem yeah is it saturated vapor or is it uh so on then then what you want to find you want to find this c okay so in in excel uh you can't do that because it's not a real linear yeah it's, it's not linear equation so we're gonna use a uh, solver so you solver in your Excel uh, using goal seek, yeah, and then uh, use again use tebakan, yeah, at our assumption. So it is going to be iterative problem solving. So there would be C value of uh, C, and then the one that is uh, uh, applied is only when the uh, C between one minus uh, one to alpha L I key. Yeah, so that so of course, uh, if you remember about um, uh, about Newton Raphson and so on, yeah. If if this is an example, uh, for example, this is an equation. Uh, see, there are one, two, three, four, five. Maybe there is a one, two, three, four, five num uh, value that uh, can go to here, yeah. But then you want to only. Uh, so find the assumption tebakan uh, that close to uh, yeah your your tebakan or uh, yeah your iterative assumption should be start between zero a uh, one two uh, like key okay so once you find the c the next step is to go to the v infinity uh, and then here you can just calculate uh, the alpha i multiply with di divided by alpha i uh, minus the c that you get uh, and then once you got the phi infinity there you can find the rm uh, by uh, phi infinity divided by d minus 1 
Okay, so this is the Underwood correlation. Okay, so now uh, once, uh, so it is going to be quite long as well uh, to find the, the RM, to, f to find the C first, and then to find the V infinity, and then to find the RM. Then the next step after that is we want to find the Gilliland correlation. Yeah, in Gilliland correlation, it is just uh, using a graphical correlation. So they have a graphical correlation between uh, n minus nm divided by n plus one uh, with r minus rm divided by r plus one. Okay, so uh, you know the rm. And then maybe you can find the R by, I don't know, uh, based on the problem, maybe 1.15 or maybe 125 RM, for example, yeah. Mm, so, and then you calculate this one here, and then, for example, you can get the that one there to the graph. And after that, you follow the uh, graph, goes to see the vertical axis. And then you find your nm n minus nm divided by n plus one. Okay, you know the nm is known from the Fanske correlation, and then you can get the n. Okay, uh, so that is to get the n. Okay, and the next one uh, is the Kirkbride uh, to calculate top uh, top stage and the bottom stage. Uh, you using um, uh, log, yeah. So we know the D, the composition of D, composition of B. We know the uh, the feed also, uh, light key and heavy key, uh, B uh, key and heavy key, and then put into this correlation. Then we can get the N A divided by N B. Okay, and then we also uh, this is equation number one. For example, blah blah blah. And the equation number two is where the n a equal to n plus n b equal to n. Yeah, we also got it from the uh, previous one. Yeah, the Underwood, the Gilliland method. So once we know the n, uh, then we know the n a and n b. Okay, so so that's that's the uh, shortcut method to find the number of the theoretical stages in the multi-component uh, system uh, it's still a good assumption even in the high seas we have to do shortcut distillation first to get the idea how many stages that we will have uh, and after that uh, we will go to the uh, we will discuss the sh uh, rigorous method or the exact method where we're gonna do the iteration in each stage to find the the, the correct temperature, the correct uh, pressure, and also the composition in each stage. All right, okay, that's quite heavy for you. Uh, anyway, do you want to have a, a comments or uh, questions? Ibu, yeah, you mind if I ask about yesterday's exercise? Yes, yes, you can. Um, I'm still quite confused with the energy balance. Right, good. For that one, uh, I have put the answer in the edu next. So you may want to have a look, but please again do it by yourself. Mm, you can go back to the exam module, the practice. And this one, so Bugrace has prepared the uh, this one there. So this is 17 September 2021. So exactly almost one uh, one year ago, yeah. So here Bugrace has explained to you about the condenser duty, yeah. So uh, Nadifa, have a look, uh, and all of you have a look. You can uh, feel free to rewrite, but when you do when you rewrite them think about yourself and then uh, do it by yourself yeah so so well so it can up uh, nempel di kepala yeah and anyway back from here the actually the the stages is 11 11 more than 11 yeah here uh, there are two type of uh, uh, apa ya two type of uh, uh, pendapat yeah uh, to 
uh, comments ya. First one here, uh, Bu Grace said that is it eleven point two, but uh, I say is uh, I round it up to twelve. Okay, uh, which one is correct? Uh, it depends on uh, how you see it. Yeah, uh, if if I'm checking your uh, answer, twelve is right because in the equilibrium stage we can't have zero point two stage, right? If you look at the the equipment later, we can't have two stages. So uh, here I'm gonna run it up. If if it looks like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, I'm going to run it out to 12 stages. But if, for example, 10 point something, I'm going to run it out to 11 stages. If it is 9 something, I'm going to run it up to uh, 12 stages, uh, uh, to 10 stages. Okay, got it? So, um, of course, I'm going to explain this to the team teaching as well. So, because in the, uh, in the equilibrium, uh, in the tray, yeah, in the equipment, we can't have 1.2 stages. We can't have that one. We have to uh, have a full stages, okay? But if you want to write like this, uh, that's fine as well, okay? Usually the stages later on, it can be used for the packing column. In the packing column, uh, there is no tray. Gada apa baki baki ya? There's no tray. It is only uh, full of tower, uh, and then you put it. Mm, I have some. Uh, yeah, it's just like uh like like a tower uh like for, uh, like a tower and then uh you we can uh for example specify the length yeah and there's nothing inside just put all of the packing uh it may happen in the packing tower but for equilibrium stages in the tray column uh berupa baki baki yeah tray uh, uh it is looks like in stages okay everyone have a look so i have uh I've given the clue for the answer practice, so you want to check. And uh, if and if you look at here, there is also part B in the exam. So this is a typical an example of part B, yeah, uh, which is uh, think uh, let you know about the problem solving, yeah. For example, here, uh, for example, if the fractionation must pro uh, produce a side product as a side stream at the composition of 75% A. For example, as a saturated liquid, uh, what is the maximum value in the side stream? And if the side stream is withdrawn by one third of its maximum, and uh, how many is the uh, new theoretical stages needed? And then explain your opinion regarding the implication of the side stream withdrawal uh, at this, the design fractionation column. Yeah, uh, Have a look how to get uh, and then you you need to answer it using a graph yeah uh, so you may want to have a look and then uh, what is the implication and one more here at the bottom is there is also how to get if we have this type of uh, mall yeah uh, a graph how to get the the uh, rm yeah or the uh, intercept minimum yeah uh, it's not this one or uh, yeah this is the just two explanation Okay, everyone, so uh, have a good day, have a good weekend, and then hopefully this can also help you to do your assignment. Okay, is that answering, uh, Nadifa? So have a look, yeah? Uh, yes, well, uh, okay. it will also, um, if we if we draw the stages and we actually get, uh, for example, yesterday we got 10 instead of 12, would it be considered wrong? We need to check your drawing. Yeah, so maybe uh, on Thursday, if you can uh, prepare the picture of your uh, your assignments, yeah, uh, and then show it to me, I can uh, maybe notify you is it right or wrong. Okay, Nadifa? Okay, yeah? but thank you. Okay, okay everyone, uh, it's been a long day for a uh, long hour for us, so uh, I'm going to stop the recording.